Every morning at 4.30 a.m., please research the top three most viral sports outcomes from the prior day. Put these into three separate tweets that I can post directly onto X. It's the middle of January, and as usual, OpenAI very quietly dropped a cool new feature in ChatGPT and then promptly sent out a tweet that it's already broken. <laughs> With ChatGPT scheduled tasks, you can, well, schedule tasks. As indicated, this is still really early in beta, but it's a huge leap forward. No, it's not quite an AI agent yet, but it gives us a glimmer of insight into some of the upcoming possibilities, and there are some serious rumors of OpenAI releasing AI operators in Q1 of this year. So perhaps they're starting to set the stage. Let's jump into how ChatGPT scheduled tasks works and some of the early use cases. Yes, you can have ChatGPT remind you that it's your anniversary, but honestly, there's a hundred different apps for that. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the beta version of scheduled tasks, and then we'll look at some use cases. Okay, so let's jump into how this thing works. The screen here is pretty standard, and then we drop down the different model option here, and then voila, GPT-40 with scheduled tasks has arrived. Again, it mentions that it's in beta version. What I'm gonna do here is drop in a quick prompt uh, that we can just use to demonstrate some of the scheduling activities. I say every Thursday at 3 p.m., please set a reminder for me to update my plans to take over the world and then provide top tips for that. Great, so it's engaged with that. And you can see that I've got my scheduled tasks there. Now you'll also notice that in this case, I'm using Safari and I got a desktop notification that popped up on the screen there, so I accepted that. All right, you can look at those three dots next to the task that's been created. You have edit, pause, and then view all tasks. So with that, we're just gonna edit this one task. And you can see here that ChatGPT has created a name for it and it's written down some instructions that are basically aligned with what I had requested. It's just kind of taking its own cut at that. And then down here in the schedule section, you can see that you can make changes to the intervals, the days, and the times. It's a pretty cool setup just for a single task here. One of the early struggles that I had with scheduled tasks was that I'd create a task and then I'd go about my day and I'd continue using ChatGPT for other things. And that scheduled task would kind of get buried amongst all the other dialogues that I had with ChatGPT. So the nice thing that they did was create this dashboard. So if you go up to your icon on the top right, you select on that and then select on tasks, you have a dashboard or all the tasks that are currently in queue. There you can edit them and you can make changes, etc. It's just nice that you can actually find them in one place. Also note that in the beta version, you're only allowed to have 10 tasks scheduled at one time. So just a heads up there. And again, you've got a couple of options to adjust them. You can pause or delete with three buttons, or you can edit here. And that takes you back to the same screen where we just were uh, when I was looking at the individual task. And I'm just gonna delete this guy because I don't want everyone to know that I'm trying to take over the world. Cool, so that's a quick overview. Okay, so next thing is I opened up the same thing here on a Google Chrome browser, just so you can see the difference of the notification error or message that you might get. I dropped in another uh, similar post to the one that I started with uh, at the top of the video here, and I'm gonna push play on this one. This is not a recurring schedule, this is just a nightly, this is just for tonight. And then you can see that I get the result there. Again, at the bottom, I get those desktop notification message is there. And then this is a little bit different because it's on the Chrome browser. You can't see the URL, but up there, there's a little marker that says allow for this site, which I agree to. And then you can close that because I've agreed to enable the notifications for this browser as well. All right, so two examples on browsers and what you're gonna see right when you start it. So once you've created a task for yourself, you're gonna get an email notification. I'll show you how to adjust the notifications in ChatGPT in just a moment. But this is a look at my Outlook email. I click on the view message here, and then I can flip over the screen, and you're gonna see the outcome of the task that I just created. And it's done a really nice job. It listed out three of the top key events, sporting events for the night, gave me the summary in a nice uh, tweet format that I can just literally copy and paste and drop straight into Twitter. And then of course on the bottom here, I've got all of the sources of the data so I can verify in fact that nothing has been hallucinated and we're good to go. As a quick aside, I always have new tricks that I'm testing across my businesses and I can easily drop those tips into an email to share with folks. So you guessed it, I'm sending out an email for people who are interested in my latest prompts workflow automations, or business tools that I've been using successfully. It'll also be covering 
broader marketing and business operational tips for things like cold outreach, SEO, social media, email management, meeting notes, paid ad campaigns, and a whole bunch more. Candidly, there's a lot of hidden gems out there, and I'm happy to share the ones I've been collecting over the years. So if you're interested, sign up via the link in the description, and I'll see you there. Okay, so now we've had a quick tour of some of the core functionality. Let's jump into a few of the use cases that I really like. For me, I'm big into marketing. I like to come up with LinkedIn posts, and this is just a nice way to create them at regular intervals. So I say at 1210 each day, research the prior day's most popular news stories about self-driving cars and provide me a viral link post based on the article you find. So I schedule this and it's going to process it. And then eventually it'll come up with the actual task listing. And now that this is generated, you can see here that I can use the three dots to pause it so that it doesn't run for however long I want it to. Or I can, of course, resume it, which I'm going to do that next here. Hit resume, and off it goes. Now you notice here, this is just doing a daily post uh, request. And so it's scheduled on a daily interval, but I can change the time if I want to, or if I want to change it to uh, weekly or monthly or annually, or better yet, if I want to create a custom schedule, I can do that here as well. This is how it's currently scheduled on a daily basis, but you notice on the bottom, it says open chat to update this custom schedule, just ask ChatGPT. So I can go in and in a prompt, tell ChatGPT I want it to be on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, or something like that, versus being confined to a typical uh, interval schedule. So that's pretty slick as well. Okay, so now that it's scheduled, I've let it run just so we can see the output here, and it gives me uh, the top most viral story that it's found on self-driving cars, and it gives it to me in a LinkedIn uh, post format. And then of course on the bottom here, you can see that I've got the citations that I can verify uh, for correctness, um, pretty slick. And then at the very bottom, I drop down, I click on that copy button, and it's just gonna copy the post itself. It's not gonna copy all of the additional links and citations, just the posts, which is exactly what I want. So I'm pretty well squared away here and I just push post and I'm done. Very cool. Another prompt that I thought I might share is providing a scheduled task to give me stock market updates. So I say at 11.30 tonight, please write a detailed synopsis of the movements of Nvidia's corporate stock price on the NASDAQ today. So I just do it for this uh, one day, but you could, as you imagine, as you can imagine, you can do this in intervals and do it every day. You can do it for a whole bunch of different stock prices, etc. And so it can be fairly robust and pretty powerful if you want to add this to your routine. Okay, so now let's see the output of that request I made and scheduled. And it looks like it did a really nice job here. So obviously it gives us charts and then it talks through uh, the various details of what happened in the course of the day based on data that it's seen in the last couple of hours and maybe even a day or two. And so I have those citations to verify and I can link through to check them. And it just gives me a really robust analysis of everything that I wanted to hear about the stock price change for the day. Okay, and so the last example that I like is one where you create a routine where let's say you have to write a report for your boss every Friday about what you did for the course of the week. So we're gonna open up a scheduled task here and then we'll put in the prompt to request a report based on tasks that have been completed over the course of the week. So we'll drop that in here. Every Friday morning at 10 a.m., please review my completed tasks for the prior week and develop an email summarizing my accomplishments for my boss. Great, so I push play on that and now I've got it scheduled. Just another cool opportunity. What you can do here is drop in the tasks that you have scheduled for the week and the ones that you've completed or not completed. ChatGPT will track those and then based on how you did, it will summarize that and put it together for you in a nice email that you can then just copy and paste and send off to your boss. So the last thing I wanna share is how do you turn notifications on and off? You do that by selecting your name icon at the top right and then going into settings. And then once you're there, if you look on the left side, you can find notifications. And under notifications, there's just one item and it's tasks. And there they have the option to add push notifications within your uh, browser, as well as email notifications, which I showed you earlier. So 
that's how you adjust the settings there. All right, cool. So with that, I'd love to hear what your top use cases are and looking forward to seeing new versions of this come out from OpenAI in the coming weeks and months. Take care.